Well, hi there, everybody. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at these uh, scripts that we have in Moodle uh, that we can use for, uh, basically we're going to be using those, these for loading scenes and whatnot. Uh, and they do a little bit more than that. They also track which scene we've been to so that it'll reload to a certain point if we want or whatever. Uh, so these are the uh, scene loader zip file that we've got in Moodle. And I've, I've got them unzipped right here. It's one scene controller and the other scene loader. Now, since we are in a level design environment construction class, we're not going to worry with what's in these scripts or you know how these scripts were were written or anything like that. Just with uh, how we can use them. So I'm going to go ahead and import both of those scripts. So I'll select both of those and drag them into my scripts folder, my project. And basically, what I want to do is I want to be able to go from my outside town world out into my little cave place so that once the player gets to the entrance in Alibaba's cave it will load the interior cave and then when they come here to go back out it, it will reload them back out into the town and when they go back out into the town they'll spawn in a place where they're standing there right next to the cave whereas when it spawns you know when it first loads in the outside one they'll spawn in the town so I've got my basic interior scene started right and I've got a player object. So what I'm going to do is start off by creating an object in here for um, for where I want the player to spawn when they land in this cave, when, once the player enters the cave. So I'll go game object, create empty. And I'm going to call this object, I'm going to call it start spawn. But to go along with that, I'm also going to give it a tag. So I'll go to my, uh, my tagging here, go to add tag. And I'm going to add a new tag and this new tag I'm going to add will be start spawn and so basically write down I mean you don't have to use start spawn just whatever it is you want to call your call it just write it down so you know what it is um, I'm also going to need a while I'm here I'll go ahead and create some more I'm going to need a return spawn and one other thing I'm going to need is going to be something called a uh, scene manager there we go so I'm going to need those three. So I'll go ahead and, and create those tags right now. Go back to my start spawn object here, and I'm going to tag it as start spawn. And then I want to position it right here where my player is, and I want it to orient the way the player is, you know, basically facing down the cave there. So I'm going to go to the player, hit my transform gear right here, uh, copy component, go to start spawn, hit the transform gear, and paste component values. All right, so now I've got that point ready. The next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and put a collider here, or a thing that's going to work as a collider, for loading, for knowing when the player's leaving my scene. So I'll go uh, game object, uh, 3D object, cube. That'll probably be the easiest, and I'll just go ahead and drag this cube you know, over to here somewhere. Let's kind of get this guy where we want him to be. Yeah, maybe about there. Let's go ahead and scale it some. Looks good. Go ahead and cover our cave like so. Yeah. And then let's give ourselves some depth here. Yeah, something like that. That looks good. Uh, I'm going to set my, my collider to be a trigger because the script that we're going to be using actually uses uh, triggers as opposed to the, the, just a straight collider. I'm going to turn my renderer off so I don't see it. I'm going to call this thing cave exit so it, it has a name and I don't have to worry about a tag. So I'm going to go ahead and assign one of my scripts to it that we just imported. Uh, in my scripts folder here, I'm going to assign the scene loader script to this object. And what it has is it's got these variables that I need to be aware of. So the first thing is the name of the scene I want to load. And the name of the scene I want to load if I open up my scenes folder is going to be town. That's the name of that scene. The next uh, variable that I care about is the tag. What 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 uh, tag are we currently using for players? As it turns out, we're using the player tag, the default player tag. So that's fine as default player tag. Uh, what's the tag for the scene manager? Uh, it's, the tag is scene manager. We just created that. If you typed it differently, then you'll have to type it differently. Uh, I need a player prefab game object here. So if I go into my prefabs, I need something called a player. And then there's a prefab for a scene manager. Well, I don't have one of those yet. Um, so 
here's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and create one of those while we're in here. So we'll go with a game object, create empty, and I'm going to call this thing scene manager. I'm also going to tag it as a scene manager. All right. And I'm going to assign my other script, my scene controller script, to it, like so. And what it needs to know, it simply needs to know the starting spawn point, I mean the starting spawn tag, which was start spawn, just created that, return spawn tag, which is return spawn, once again just created that, and this player part, it actually doesn't need to know that, I kind of meant to get rid of that, <laughs> no, but I left it in there, um, I'll probably just go in and, you know, whatever. Anyway, that one can actually be in ignored so you can see there's nothing that we really need to add to that so I'm going to go ahead and take my scene manager make a prefab out of it like so and delete it now the only th things we might have had to change is if your start spawn tag and return spawn tag are not those values if there's something else then you're gonna have to change them. all right so let's go ahead and delete that go back to my cave exit thing where I have my scene manager prefab thingy right there so I'll grab my scene manager prefab I just made and drop it in there we're looking good with that last thing I need to do before I'm done with this scene go to my build settings file build settings any scenes that can be loaded have to be inside our build settings so I'm gonna take my cave world put it up there and my town world and put it in there and they're in there we're cool close that let's go ahead and save this scene and before I go any further let's grab our player object right here and I want to go ahead and disable this because this version this final version once it's all built is it's going to basically drag a player from one scene to another so while I can have this player prefab object in here for while I'm testing this uh, while I'm building this scene and testing it when it comes to actual play that object isn't what's going to be used so I, I need to make sure to disable that turn that off so let's save that there we go and we'll go back out to our town so let's load our town maybe there we go all right so here's what we're gonna have to do here do a couple of things I'll wait for the scene editor window to kind of catch up with me there we go okay so I want to begin by creating a start spawn point which I think so I've got my player right here. Let's go ahead and move our player. I'm going to put him like, I don't know, like over here. Okay, right about there. Yeah. Okay, he's going to go right about there. So I'm going to go game object, uh, create empty. I'm going to call this empty object start spawn. And I'm going to tag it as start spawn, like so. And then I want to put it right where the player is. Let's see, what way is our player facing? He's kind of facing that way. Let us rotate our player so that he's facing kind of that way. You can see the cameras there. So our player is kind of facing that way. That's cool. All right. So now then we will go to the gear on our transform for the player. Copy component. Go to the start spawn, the transform gear right there. And let's do a paste component values. Nice. All right. Next up. I'm going to take my player. I'm going to drag him way over here where my cave entrance is going to be. Right. Okay, we're getting there. Let's zoom in on our player here. Not that close. There we go. So when my player returns, he's basically going to be coming out of the cave, you know, like right there. All right. Let's go to our local again. I want you to face that way there we go looks good uh, let's drop him down just a little bit so he's close to the ground all right and then let's create another game object create empty and I'm gonna call this return spawn return spawn go to tag and I'm gonna use my return spawn tag that we've already created let's go to our player that we've got right here we're gonna click the gear copy component we're going to go to return spawn, gear on transform, paste component values. All right, looks nice. Uh, player, I'm going to go ahead and disable this player object. I'm going to go ahead and create a trigger area in here, kind of like we did for the cave exit, but this will be for the cave entrance. So game object 3D uh, cube, sure, right about there. 
sure. Let's let's just see what that does. Um, yeah, we'll put it right about there. Let's scale this thing. Looks good. Uh, <laughs> Maybe a little bit too tall, but that's fine. Mm, I think right about there. Yeah, let's go with right about there. Actually, you know what? Let's move it back just a little bit. And then we'll scale it up some more. I actually could have just used this box that I have back there already, but I don't know why I didn't. I guess it doesn't matter. I might back this up a little bit. Something like that. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. I don't need the mesh renderer. I do need this to be a trigger. This is going to... I'm going to change the name to be Cave Entrance, like so. And I'm going to give it my scene loader script, drop it right there, and then I'm just going to fill this stuff in. So my scene to load is going to be the cave. Okay, player tag is still player, scene manager tag is scene manager. Uh, scene manager prefab is the scene manager prefab I just made. And player prefab is the player prefab that I have. All right. Um, now, I'm not actually going to go through, you know, line by line on, on the script. You're more than welcome to load them up and take a look at them and, and see how they work. I'm, I'm not going to actually explain how they work. I'm just going to explain how to use them here. Uh, once again, we're in a level design environment creation class. Our goal isn't to be the programmers. Our goal is to be the level design environment people. Uh, the programmers gave this to us. So, we are set. So, the way this should work, when I start the game, my player should automatically spawn at the start spawn point. I run over here and I collide with my cave entrance. We should load the cave and we should spawn at that spawn point we put inside the cave. I can go explore my cave. When I touch the cave exit, uh, we will load this scene again and I should spawn right about here. So let's see what happens. Let's see what we've got. I'm going to go ahead and save this scene real quick. I will play this. See if I got any errors. Hopefully this works. And hey, there we go. We spawned where I wanted to, even roughly facing the direction I wanted to. Not quite, but yeah, that'll do. Um, so let's let's head on over. I sure hope I'm not recording the footsteps because those will be annoyingly loud. Okay, so let's run over here. Run. Run some more. And jump. And jump. And jump. And jump. <laughs> okay, I don't, I don't know. That got kind of mesmerizing. Okay, so we're going to run up into here. Uh, oh, and here we are. We loaded up into here, into this cave that apparently still needs a lot of work, which is fine. I expe oh, there it goes. It goes way down. I expected it to need a lot of work. I'm not worried about that. Yeah, this is still being built. So we just spawned into our cave. Okay, fine. I want to leave the cave. The cave scares me. It's dark. It's spooky. I don't like this. I'm going to leave. So let's see what happens. Um, maybe it died. <laughs> uh, actually, it's just first time loading that scene in the editor. It, it like bogs down. There we go. And we spawned. And where did we spawn? We spawned right by the cave. And we're out here. And hey, this is doing exactly what I wanted it to do. So I'm going to go back in my cave. Because I felt safe in my cave. Oops, I spawned outside. What just happened? I should not have spawned outside. That was weird. Let me double check that really quick. Oh, I know exactly what happened. I, I know, I know what happened there. Uh, we'll fix that in just a second. Okay, so so it all worked. So basically, what just happened there is that um, in our cave scene, I'm gonna go ahead and load the cave scene. Actually, I just, yeah. Um, in the cave scene, what happened is that when we respawned in here, it tried to find a thing called re return spawn, and there wasn't one. There's just this start spawn. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, dang it, there we go. I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate that, control D, and I'm going to call this one, uh, I'll just go ahead and call it return spawn. at least until I actually fix the code so that that doesn't happen. And I'll tag it as a return spawn. They're both right on top of each other, right? 
yeah and then that'll solve that problem okay so now we can play our game and we'll spawn out here in our town and we can run way over here I wonder if I can jump over this wall er, no not quite okay I really should let it finish baking the uh, the lighting so it'd look better but hey I'm okay with that and we're, and we're gonna be fixing the lighting as we go on in this this semester anyway so okay so there I go I spawned in my cave facing the wrong way but I can fix that all right so let's see what happens if we go back to our town can I go back to my town okay I'm back in my town okay I feel good about that oh yeah, it's bright out here I want to go back in my cave I'm back in my cave I'm back in my town <laughs> uh, basically that my, I just was right on the trigger point okay so there you go we've got those set up so all I really need to do at this point is just fine-tune like my spawn points which way they're facing and that kind of stuff uh, that's all I need to do at this point in time uh, other than that it is all set up and it is working so um, any questions just let me know